Hey, welcome back. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to build your own custom smart sign right here on Dad's Garage. Dad's Garage. Pro fresh and nail. So the overall size was dictated by the materials I have, such as this piece of plexiglass, which is four and three quarters by 17 and three quarters. All right, which I think is gonna be perfect. With Excel, I printed out exactly how I wanted it. So the idea, so I overlaid it, that, and it's gonna fit. Yeah, just got back from the depot. Got some new materials. I wanted to use the fence planks because I like how the wood looks really aged, but it is garbage material. So we're gonna go with this oak. And I think what's really gonna be nice is because it's thinner, and it's gonna allow us to put, have more room inside the sign for all the electronics. So it's some two and a half inch wide strips here and a five and a half inch wide. And then all I'm gonna do now is measure this one out to 18 inches, split it in half, and then uh, put the stencil on. And got the spray glue. We're going in the right direction now, boys and the girls. I'm telling you, I think we're gonna, this is gonna be awesome. The idea is that the sign is gonna be, they'll say War Lab there, and then two and a half inches wide, and then this will be on the top, and then I'll have steel angle iron encompassing the entire exterior of it. And then uh, on the inside will be that piece of plexiglass. I'll sand this so it's frosted. And put some LED lighting on the inside. 18 and an eighth. So my plan is to take painter's tape and put a, a complete layer of painter's tape over the top of it, then put spray glue on it, then put the stencil down, and then cut it, and then peel off the parts that I don't need. All right, now I've got the painter's tape all on here. I have the War Lab sign cut down to size. Hit it up with the spray glue. Uh, if you use this stuff, know that it it sets quick. I was not expecting that. What do you think? So I finished routing everything out. I got it pulled up off the other surface. It actually looks pretty badass. And what's been more painful is cleaning up the letters. My well, having a CNC machine would be awesome. Just using an assortment of files is what I've been doing. A triangular one, a flat one, a round one. These are uh, a Harbor Freight special. Next, I'm gonna sand down this guy. Probably gonna use a finer grit sandpaper. I think I have some 220. Certainly not this this 80 stuff. It'll, it'll tear it up. But uh, I need to finish listening to Freebird before I let the compressor fire up. All right, so I got it all sanded down. Take a look. <laughs> got started without you. So what I'm doing here is adding glue to the sides. I don't have any clamps yet. But I do have ammo cans. Move some heavy shit. Well, we got the sides glued on. Next, we're gonna do the end caps. We're gonna put a little glue on this, prop it up, use my impromptu clamps. We're gonna use the brush, apply a little glue in between the letters so we don't get that seepage, and then we'll drop our plastic in on top. Without further ado, let's do it. Mm. 
make sure that's the side that I want to use. Wait in here, and we wait. I took some measurements, and now it's time to cut out a few pieces of steel. Got the blade swapped out on the Hitachi. Let her rip. So we got the box all glued up and I started zapping up the frame. And I got the bottom one here, put a cross member in here, and then one over in here. Once we uh, have it all framed in, we'll do the rest of the welds. Flip it. Flanders, that's Ned behind him, looking for handouts as always. Got the steel done today. We're up in the war lab, and I got some RGB strip here, and I've cut it to length, and now we just need to glue it inside. I'm gonna try to utilize the gap that's above and below to put that strip as close to the bottom as possible. My idea is that it'll shine up into the plastic and light up the plastic instead of having a harsh light shining inside of it. I wouldn't be dad's garage if I didn't have gremlins. And she wants to be in Papa's arms, I really can't help that. It was a little bit low, so I added a couple washers to the back. So now, with it at that height, it's, I mean, for what it's worth, it's basically flush. And then I just gotta redo the magnet down at this end. Ooh, golden. Can't 
can't really do much with the with the micro bin when trying to get at all my stuff. Bam, 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 bam. Get it up the old brake clean. Give it a little flat action. So these are the stains that I have. I just want to use. I think I'm going to settle on walnut. I mean, I really like the contrast of the black and the brown. Now it's time for the electronicals. So I bought this guy off Amazon, it was like $12. I'll put a link down below. It's just the RGB controller, Wi-Fi. I'm just gonna use the wall power adapter until the batteries are ready. So I connect this as per the instructions. I downloaded the app, Magic Home. All right, so I'm gonna go to add device. Oh, there it is. That's it right there. So it's connected and I'm gonna rename it. None other than War Lab sign. War Lab sign. Done. Nice. That's it for that. Let's do our little 3M strip. All right, for the maiden voyage, we got the battery pack all assembled. <clears throat> Basically, it's just two 12 volts on three BMS, and then I have them connected together in series with the jumper that we made. All right, so let's take her off wall power. And get them linked in together. This will give us our 24 volts. Ready? Go. Hell yeah. So they have all of our colors, right? There's green, blue, red. <laughs> Spot on. All right, let's put it up on the wall. And with it all mounted, it's all done. Hey Google, turn on the War Lab sign. Okay, turning the War Lab sign on. Hey Google, make the War Lab sign blue. Sure, changing the War Lab sign to blue. Simple as that, it's all done. Hey, that's all for this week. If you want to support my channel, I greatly appreciate your subscription. Ring that bell for notifications and share this video with your friends. Let me know in the comment section what you liked about this video, what you didn't like, how you would do it differently, how you've done it better, how the other people have done it better. And remember to keep it pro-fresh now.